Now let's turn to the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. It's a country in Central Africa, one of the largest on the continent and home to over 100 million people. The DRC has issued a notice to the world's second largest company, Apple, the makers of the iPhone. The DRC has accused Apple of using, quote unquote, blood minerals, minerals taken from conflict zones in the country. Now, the Democratic Republic of Congo wants Apple to stop. It has issued a formal cease and desist order. If Apple does not comply, it will face legal action. Now, first, let's look at what these blood minerals are and why they call that. The DR Congo is rich in certain minerals, metal deposits that are used to make electronic devices like the iPhone. Three minerals found in the DRC go into making phones, tantalum, tin, and tungsten. Together, they're referred to as 3T. Now, these three minerals are found in the ground. They're mined, purified, and then transformed into phone parts. The Democratic Republic of Congo has all three in abundant quantities, making it an important country in electronic supply chains. But there's a problem. The blood part in blood minerals. The minerals are not in some safe area to be picked up at one's leisure, no. The minerals are mostly found in the eastern DRC, in provinces that have been embroiled in conflict for years. This is the region in question. The North and South Kivu provinces, this area is full of different armed groups. Some are terrorist outfits, like the local branch of the Islamic State. Then you have various militias. Some support the DRC government, others are backed by foreign powers. One prominent force is called the M23 Group. They control vast swathes of land. They've been fighting against the Congolese government for years and they're backed by Rwanda. Yes, that Rwanda of genocide and British deportation fame. This situation has exacted a high human price, 15 million deaths. And it is the work of a neighboring country, Rwanda, whose intoxicating obsession with the abundant strategic resources lying beneath the soil of my country have led it to lose all sense of reason. This neighboring country is persisting and continuing its criminal enterprise to procure colossal economic benefits. Rwanda backs an armed militia in the DRC. The M23 group takes over mineral-rich territory, forces locals, adults and children to mine these minerals and sends them across the border, letting Rwanda profit from the DRC's minerals. And the M23 are not the only ones doing this. Most of the armed groups have their own fiefdoms. They have carved out their own territory. They rule with an iron fist and force the local people to work in the mines, the three T mines and others. That is why the DRC has called them blood minerals. Congolese blood is shed when they are extracted. The DRC says companies like Apple are complicit in all of this. And Apple, of course, is not the only one. Intel, HP, even Tesla, all these brands have been accused of using blood minerals. It's a charge that Apple and the others often deny, even though investigations over the years have proved this link. There are a number of studies about this, but the companies keep denying the reports. For proof, they point to a monitoring agency. The agency is run by rich white Europeans. It is incentivized to clear as many minerals as possible. And it is self-monitored. But despite these obvious red flags, companies like Apple use these agencies to get a clean chit. That is how your Western companies keep denying responsibility with the help of compromised monitoring agencies. After choosing to ignore the blood on their supplies, the same companies make all those sleek, fancy ads about a green future, inclusivity, diversity, or, or some of these other things to appeal to Gen Z. Talk about hypocrisy. Apple might be guilty of all this too, but the DRC will have to prove it. The country will be up against one of the biggest companies in the world, so we wish the Congolese the best of luck.